man who brought America to France, and they adored him for it. Johnny Hallyday began his career nearly 60 years ago, bowled over by the new sounds coming from the States. France's post-war baby boomers craved novelty and the whiff of social rebellion, and Johnny gave it in spades. He became the leader of what they called the Yeah Yeah Generation. The fans, and later nearly all of France, came to see him as part of the national family. His life, its high points and its sadnesses, became their life, right up to the end. And so today there's mourning for a singer who's accompanied France through all the changes of modern times. From the Algeria war to Instagram, Johnny has been there, singing the classics, adding new tunes, updating his image, but always back on stage to give again. What people say they loved about him was his working man's simplicity and his dedication. As radio and television broadcast suspended regular programmes today, the tributes have been pouring in. President Macron said what many are saying, that in all of the French there was something of Johnny. His public is in tears, he wrote, will never forget his name, nor his face, nor his voice. He's gone to the pantheon of song, next to the legends of rock and blues who he so loved. In recent years, Johnny Alliday had been in poor health, lung cancer, but he kept performing right until a few months ago. In the English-speaking world, people affected to see him as a bit of a joke, and it's true that though he loved Elvis and the Rolling Stones, Johnny never made it in the US or Britain. But that was not the point. Johnny Alliday played American-style music, but to his core, he was French. And today, for everyone here, a little bit of France has disappeared. Hugh Schofield reporting there on the career of Johnny Halliday. Mm. Well, the French ambassador Jean-Pierre Julier is here. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. He was much. really Belgian then, not French. As many French uh, singers, he was uh, Belgium, but he, too, he spent all his life in French and for uh, France, his life for uh, Jacques Brel, uh, for France, Johnny, Johnny and Johnny, c'est la France. His, his, his name was uh, Jean-Philippe Smet. He was yes. quite divisive, though, wasn't he? Because he broke away from that traditional sort of chanson genre of singing. Yes. He, for us, and it's why we are very painful, whatever the generation, whatever the political side, whatever the, you like the rock or not the rock, but in Cannes, at the beginning of the 60s, the, re the rupture from the old generation with the, uh, as we say in French, the baby boom generation. And uh, he, was, he was the French man the most known in France. Certainly was. A hundred million records that he sold. You met more than one More million. than a hundred million. You met him. What was he like? I, I met him once in a concert, after a concert, and he was very calm, he was very cautious, and he, he, he was clever because he, sp he spoke about her, their songs and so on, and I, uh, it was a very uh, attached man, and uh, as you see, for France, lost today a part of uh, our uh, country. It's incredible to, 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 to see that because for the French population and for all the, the, the population, for the, you see, for the ambassadors, but uh, for uh, also for the workers, for, the, for uh, all the people this morning, it was very awful. I, I was so painful that it was terrible for me to work this morning. Of course, because he's always been there, all living memory, he's always been there for you. But you say that he was calm and cautious, and yet he lived his life as a rock star to yes. the full five marriages. Yes, but after and when he was in, on the TV or was he, if he was uh, with you in an interview, he was always very calm after uh, his show. Which were your favourite songs of his? Oh, I have so many, <laughs> but uh, I love very much uh, Que Je T'aime, and another is uh, 
l'envie d'avoir envie, made by Jean-Jacques Goldman. Why did we not understand Johnny Halliday in the, the English-speaking world, just briefly? Just briefly, because I think that, however, his uh, best memory, uh, the, the, his best memory uh, on scene was in London. Five years ago, in 2012, in the Royal Albert Hall, and because he, he sees many people and a lot of people grew up to the scene, like in, during the 60s, and for him it was, uh, the, I think, his best uh, memory on scene. Ambassador Jean-Pierre Jouillet, thank you so much for coming in. I hope you'll come and see us again soon. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank, thank you. you very much. It's time for a look at the weather forecast with Sarah. Good afternoon. We've got some potentially disruptive weather on the cards over the next 24 to 48 hours. A wind warning issued, an amber warning from the Met Office, so do be prepared. We could well see winds storm force 80 miles per hour or more during Thursday. Now, through Wednesday evening and overnight tonight, the wind's really picking up. Gales or severe gales in the north and the west as this band of rain tracks its way southeastwards across much of the country. So it is going to be a mild start to your Thursday morning.